Hi friends! If you watch my videos, you know that I have a serious problem, and it's that I can't DNF books. I can't do it. There have been so many times I've started a book, realized it's just not for me, and made myself push through 500 more pages because I can't do it. I can't not finish a book. Once I start, we are committing. It's a problem. And if you're new to this channel, hi, hello, my name is Claire. I am one half of the Bookish Potatoes. I read quite a bit, but I talk even more and that's why I'm here. I recently made a video tier ranking every series I had ever completed, which made me realize that there are actually quite a few series that I never ended up finishing, and all of them were unintentionally. So today I thought I would share with you the book series I have DNF'd, because it turns out I have DNF'd things before. That's a big deal for me. I have three different sections here. We have the books that I plan on reading eventually that were just DNF'd for now. We have the series that it ain't gonna happen. And then we have some books that are still up for debate. So the series I do plan on hopefully getting to eventually if I ever just find the time and energy to. We have the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I read the first two books, Red Queen and Glass Sword. And the reason I never finished is just because the third and fourth book weren't out yet when I read the first two. And by the time the third book came out, I didn't really remember what had happened in the first two, which meant I would have to reread them to get the most out of finishing the series. And I just didn't have the energy to reread those books. This was years ago though, so I feel like now I would be okay to go back and reread the first two books and just read this whole series in one go. Then we have The Young Elites Trilogy by Marie Lu. Another situation where I read the first book, The Young Elites, when it first came out and the other two books just weren't out yet and I just never got around to reading them. I have heard a lot of really great things about this trilogy and I do remember thoroughly enjoying the first book, so it is one that I do want to make sure I read eventually. And then we have some of Rick Riordan's books. <laughs> I've been talking about Rick Riordan a lot on this channel lately because I am planning on doing a read of all of his books coming up. I read the first three or four I genuinely cannot remember Percy Jackson books over 10 years ago. At the time my mom, my brother, and I were reading those books out loud together. But middle school is when I really started taking off as a reader and wanted to read books on my own quickly. I think we were on the third or fourth Percy Jackson book when I picked up The Hunger Games and that was kind of that. <laughs> I also read the first two books in the Red Pyramid trilogy and really loved them and I just never finished. I never read the last book. So I am definitely going to reread these ones and I'm going to finish these series. Then we have the just ain't gonna happen category, meaning I read these books so long ago that it's just not worth going back and picking up anymore. Some of them I've just simply outgrown. The first one we have is the Unwind series by Neil Schusterman. Once again, I really loved the first book. I just didn't continue with the series. I just don't really think the books are for me anymore and I don't really think it's worth my time to try and read them. Then we have Shiver by Maggie Stivotter. I'm pretty sure this is like a trilogy with a name, The Wolves of Something Falls. I don't know. It was one of the first YA books I read back in middle school and I really liked it. But then once I really got into reading YA, I realized that Shiver just wasn't really my series. And of course we have I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore. <laughs> I read the first two books, I Am Number Four and Power of Six, because my brother was reading them and he recommended them to me and he owned them and so I read the first two books. Quinn from Glee was going to be in the movie. Never ended up watching the movie, just read the books. And it was another situation where I enjoyed the books but I don't think they were really for me and definitely not really for me now. And another childhood favorite, we have the 39 Clues series. I forget how many books there are in this series. There are a lot. I read the first three. It's by a bunch of different authors. It was really fun. It was about these two kids and their au pair and someone in the family dies and to like get the inheritance they have to go on this like treasure hunt across the world but their family members are vicious and they're fighting each other because they want that inheritance. And I think there were at least 10 books. I only read the first three. It was a good time. I just outgrew them. Wow. That was definitely in like the school scholastic book order. It was 100% a Canada thing. Oh no, it wasn't. It was Rick Riordan. Oh, never mind. I totally made that up. I'm a liar. 
I'm sure you Americans have read it too. I say you Americans as if I don't have dual citizenship. I'm also American. There's only love here. Another childhood fave is The City of Ember, which was a classroom read aloud book back when I was in the fourth or fifth grade. And then after we read the first book as a class, I picked up The People of Sparks, the second book, and hated it. I hated it. That really was like a DNF situation. No, I still read the whole book but I was like, no more to this series. Do you guys remember that scene in the movie with the mole rat chasing them? Because that was terrifying. And our final category is up for debate. There are only two series in this category and I want you, I just kicked my tripod. And I want you in the comments below to tell me whether or not I should continue with these series. The first is the Fifth Wave Trilogy by Rick Yancey. 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 Laurel. I hate things with aliens. I hate it. I hate aliens. I hate talking about it. Uh, uh, oh, mm. It's just one of those like irrational fears that I can't explain. Actually, I can't explain. My parents made me watch Close Encounters when we were visiting my grandparents in Indiana when I was a kid and the movie takes place in Indianapolis. Terrifying. I've always hated aliens. <laughs> I don't even like saying the word. Ah! Throw some Marvel or Star Wars at me and we're good. But do not talk to me about what is living past our universe. I don't want to think about it. I don't, I don't, I, mm. I'm not so close-minded that I think we're the only living thing out. Like I, I just can't, I can't, anyway. But The Fifth Wave, I enjoyed the book. Had to read it during the day in summertime. It's not even a scary book. It was just like, <sighs> so, <laughs> I never finished the trilogy, but I did enjoy the first book and I wanted to know where it went. So I read it back in like grade nine, so it's just been so long that I don't know if it's worth rereading the first book and picking up the other two. I feel like I just sold myself on all the reasons I should not reread that book. And then we have Cassandra Clare and Holly Black's The Iron Trial series. I own the first book. It's a signed copy, so I'm not gonna get rid of it, but... I didn't bother buying any of the others. It's technically middle grade fantasy. And I think as someone who loves Cassandra Clare's books so much, I just was kind of taken aback by the middle gradeness of it, which is ridiculous because it's middle grade. I just didn't love the first book. I think I liked the second book more, but not enough that I felt inclined to pick up the third book when it came out. And I believe the series is complete now. So if anyone's read the whole series and has any thoughts or opinions on that, let me know. I guess I am the queen of DNFing after all. Not actually. I don't know if there's anything on here that's like going to be shocking or an unpopular opinion, but definitely let me know in the comments below. Are there books that you think I should Finish. Are any of these just not worth my time that were on my list of books I plan on eventually reading? Yeah, um, I think that's it. Okay. I never know how to end videos. It just like gets kind of weird. Like I've told you to comment, so am I supposed to be like, like and subscribe and then just like peace out of here? I guess so. Okay, well, thank you for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe. See you guys next time. This is why I made a channel where I could film with someone else, but we can't film together right now. Ridiculous. But seriously, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.